Hello Pisces, Pisces Rising, and Pisces Moon people! This is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting August 7th, 2017. And I just want to make a quick reminder for everyone, these weekly horoscopes are meant to talk about one week at a time. So the astrology I talk about, you know, isn't necessarily going to be what I talked about in the monthly astrology horoscopes. It's not replacing them, they're all happening at the same time. But if I already discussed it, say an eclipse or a retrograde or something, I'm not going to repeat it in the weeklies. You know, the monthly astrology horoscopes do have their own playlists on the main channel page, but I want to consistently give extra information and new information to keep track of, um, as opposed to copying and pasting it. So, you know, just so you know that, because I know we got a lot of big stuff going on this week, but, um, you know, I also want to make sure that you, you, you know more about this week as well. And of course, if you ever want to get a session with me, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com. So what is going on with this week astrologically um, as it relates to what begins and ends this week? Well, it's all Thursday, Friday, and a little bit of Saturday. We've got Mercury and Venus in Cancer and in Virgo linking up in a gorgeous sextile between your fifth house of love and romance and your relationship with your kids and your seventh house of partnerships and your closest one-on-one -on -one relationships. And this does happen while Mercury is getting ready to kind of turn and get ready to go retrograde on the 12th. And it looks to me like there may be a very enlightening conversation um, that may actually allow for some kind of closeness or extra closeness or rebonding with somebody we do, or did, or, or whatever have had a close one-on-one -on -one relationship with. This could be one of your kids, this could be deepening the bond in a relationship with a romantic partner, or possibly um, somebody we've had a romantic chemistry with in the past, or possibly turning around or, or, or kind of stopping um, a distancing between you and somebody close to you. This might even just be one of your best friends. But we have this pivot going on uh, thanks to this energy, and so there's going to be a renewal um, following. And you know, it's it's definitely something I think that Venus is making sure turns out to be a good thing. Uh, we also have the Sun in Leo in your sixth house of work, reputation, and physical health, forming a gorgeous sextile to Jupiter in your eighth house of shared resources and passive income. And you may actually find an opportunity to make some extra money helping somebody with a project or a business of theirs. Um, you may be given, offered some cut of the proceeds. You may be able to incorporate this into some of your spare time. And it does look like we're kind of helping them build their dream or it's actually resonant enough with us that working through them or working with them on this project with them does grant us our own opportunities down the road. So let this conversation happen. Um, you know, you're kind of coming in and helping them tweak something very personal or something that you've kind of always thought was their territory, but it turns out the two of you joining forces may actually be for the best of all concerned. So what's going on with your cards this week then? Well, for your spiritual advice, we do have the card of the horse, okay? And when we think about the horse, we are thinking about um, you know, a being that is, yes, able to travel vast distances very, very quickly, um, but we also look at the horse as something where um, a horse can carry a lot, a horse can move a lot, a horse can do more than, you know, a lot of people assume. You know, I'm not saying go out and push everyone too hard, but, you know, when we think about, a, you know, being capable of more, whether it's more productivity, more affection, more industriousness, more physical activity, um, you know, more stimulation, whatever. Focus on that this week. Where are we able to actually, you know, where is something that we're working on, somebody we're working with, or maybe even a part of ourselves, capable of more? Um, you know, and where have we been playing it safe? Where have we been not uh, using something to capacity in our lives or working with something to its fullest potential? When we think about to capacity, you know, it's kind of like a restaurant um, that's fully staffed, not seating open seats, 
um, you know, the kitchen's okay, everything's fine, but they're playing it a bit too safe, you know, and sometimes when we get the horse, we think about where are we not, you know, where, where again are we afraid of approaching capacity um, when it comes to the work that we're doing in our lives? Where are we um, minimizing uh, our output? Where are we maybe not getting the most we can out of something because we're afraid to use it for all it is? Not use in a bad way, but, you know, utilize. I should have said that first. Hopefully nobody uh, gets stuck on the first one. <laughs> so that's something to pay attention to with everything you do. Now what's going on with your earth sector? Well, when it, with your earth sector, when it comes to work and finances, we do have the six of cups reversed. And financially, it should be a very interesting week because we are clearing away um, some kind of past tie or past hang up or maybe even past obstacle or issue that may have been binding us up or binding up our finances in any way. Um, we might be getting something, um, t you know, taken off. Um, maybe we get to go and renegotiate. Uh, we get to go and have, uh, you know, a payment plan changed or maybe some kind of obligation uh, rephrased or reworded so it's less of a, you know, a cumbersome burden. The Six of Cups reverse, though, is saying that whatever is being released is released for your relief. For those of you currently, you know, looking for new work or looking for new ways to expand your career, the Six of Cups reverse is saying the best opportunities are going to come from foreign territory. Um, these could be in places or in industries that you're not used to working in, or you did not think that your education, your degree, your focus, your work history would be compatible with on paper, but it is, okay? It's, you know, there are certain roles out there, certain jobs out there that do transcend uh, career or industry boundaries, and this week you might want to see where can we use that, and again, that's kind of the leverage that comes with the horse. You know, are we using this to capacity? You know, more than just travel agencies need uh, HR representatives, right? You know, more than, you know, you've got to pay attention to where those things can actually work for you. Where have we been a bit narrow? You know, because there's an expansion going on here. For your communications with air, when it comes to your friends, your relatives, and the others in your life, we've got the chariot upright beautiful card because it does indicate somebody's coming with good news about um, a team effort that you have both put forward, something that you've both done together, something that you're both trying to get off the ground. And the good news has come to them instead of you, but it's for both of you. Um, this could be something that you've both been trying to, again, get started, something you've been having a hard time working on, or maybe it's about something that you worked on before that was actually, for all intents and purposes, very, very successful, and the opportunity to, to I guess you could say, resume or start over or, or, or bigger and better it, is now here. The chariot card often does indicate, again, the, the conquering of an obstacle or, you know, possibly even the stampede towards, you know, a goal uh, and having it progress also a lot faster than you could have expected. So um, be on the lookout for what this person's got to say about this development. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the Knight of Cups reversed. And this week may, you know, it's not going to be without its challenges, no week is, but with the Knight of Cups reversed, we have to pay attention to making sure that we're careful about um, other people's insecurities, because some people, when they're getting, when they're, when they're a bit too worried, they're a bit too anxious, or they, you know, they're anxiously attached to something that you're working on, or, you're, or, or you, you know, it's easy. It's easier to step on their toes than it is other people, even if they're all standing in line. I don't know why. Um, and with the Knight of Cups reversed, it does indicate that somebody may actually be presenting some concerns, um, again, where they may have been hurt by you, by something that may have been perfectly innocuous, um, and it may be something that you do have to clear up this misunderstanding with, because either A, um, you didn't know you were doing something hurtful or something that could have been taken in a hurtful way, or B, this person does not understand the dynamics of the connection or the friendship or the relationship that you have. Either way, it's got to be hammered out. Um, with the Knight of Cups reversed, we may see, again, um, the, the, if, if the insecurities are speaking louder than the information, um, we're going to have to be careful how to manage this. You know, we're going to do this gingerly, but I think it must be done. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, we do have the Two of Wands reversed. And again, misunderstandings 
rampant. And with the Two of Wands reversed, usually we see this in um, somebody not picking up what you're putting down, okay? People aren't getting the message, or you're not getting their message. Either way, there's, a, there's something lost in translation, you know? Um, and it looks like if, it, if you're trying to flirt with somebody or let somebody know that you're interested this week, they are not getting it. Now, I'm not calling them dense, and I'm not, ta I'm not calling you inarticulate, but I'm saying that they're not getting what you're, what you're trying to put out there. And the Two of Wands reversed is saying that there is actually something that you're looking at that could work, but we are going about grasping it the wrong way, um, maybe we've been doing too much fishing, maybe we've been, you know, maybe too many sig- you know, we're trying to be too subtle with our signals, but we have to change that approach. And, you know, the same could be said about somebody trying to get your attention and you have no idea that they are. And it could be actually a funny little misunderstanding to correct. For those of you who are currently coupled, however, the Two of Wands Reverse says there could be some fights or some scuffles in a situation where everyone does feel like they're doing what the other person wants them to do. But again, the instructions are not clear. Now, whether they're technical instructions about how to handle the home or, or something practical or material, or they are instructions about how to handle, say, a person's feelings, um, the relationship, uh, parentage, whatever's going on. Um, again, we, there is something that we're taking for granted. You know, sometimes we understand what we're saying in our heads, um, especially the stuff that we keep going a lot, and we take for granted that we've said it enough that it must be foolproof. It's not. We could be the fool thinking it's foolproof. And so, you know, this could be your partner, this could be you, this could be a kid. Either way, it's got to be corrected, and it really is nobody's fault. Okay? So that is your horoscope, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session, you can always follow the links below, or go to integrativemysticism.com.